Here we go, jumping in the action. Cinderace, Mr. Mime, you love to see it. And a Wiggly Tuff, did I see that right too? I actually didn't see, but um, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Wiggly Tuff and Mr. Mime running that double main tank on uh, on the side of, I think it's Go Win's side. The names haven't been updated yet. Yeah. yeah, double main tank running on Gowin. Um, the only little bit of range that Gowin's going to be opting into is that Cinderace, who is right now taking the jungle. So Cinderace versus Greninja, um, a very big hype matchup, two of the most common junglers we've seen since the start of this game. Yeah, uh, Buffalo for Poketopia is where we're sitting there. Um, mm -hmm. as they're just slowly working through getting their buffs. Uh, but we're down to the action of the bottom lane where it always seems to be here in the early stages of uh, Unite matches. I'm a good guy getting uh, getting <laughs> uh, getting taken to the woodshed a little bit here. <laughs> he's he's a good guy. Uh, OD yeah. Gum getting pressured as well as all of Go Win and now is on the retreat. Uh, PCS Lau pushing a little bit. Uh, Nalix there. The Gossip are going to chip in. And can they close out on Lyle? Oh. They do. They get the KO wow. on Dew. And that's a Lucario KO up top as I think the Greninja for or the Frogadier for Poketopia came in and closed that one out. And we're watching yeah. a little bit as the stats are pulled up. Uh, Saitama working their way through the, the Snorlax. Going to see if there's an opportunity to steal. They don't even budge on it saying uh, it's not worth, uh, worth the effort there. Waiting for bees instead. Yeah, nice snipe by Nalix there to get that KO for sure. And wow, look at the impression that I am good guy is bringing right now. The uh, revenge maneuver coming in from I am a good guy. Definitely showcasing that pressure. And wow, the Wigglytuff from Gowin gets out with a sliver of HP. Um, definitely the early game going in terms of Gowin's favor here in the bot lane. Um, and so, <laughs> so you're hoping that Poketopia is going to stay winning in this top because that is their one chance at victory. We're, you know, I, I love to, to see good support play. And Nalix is the only reason that Wigglytuff made it out with that <laughs> precision leaf tornado to get them back in the goal zone and get them out of reach of uh, that. Uh, I think that was the, the razor leaf that was coming out of that Bulbasaur there trying to just get that last little sliver knocked off. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Kaido, Saitama, and Lao pushing back up the lane now, feeling a little froggy. Ooh. Wow, I'm a good guy. Spike damage uh, doing in just so much work right now in this bot lane fight. That confusion into a wall bang kind of position is just going to be a huge threat. It is making Poketopia have to keep on backing off and playing safer and safer. Uh, but right now we have both junglers sitting at level 7. Uh, pretty huge threats on either side. But oh wow, Ooh. what a dive coming out of Poketopia. Yeah, I think that's uh, Sly, the, the Lucario, trying to dive on Chronix, the, the Cinderace that maybe got a little too excited by leaving the goal zone and forgetting how squishy that bunny could actually be. Here's Buffalo and, Scott and Sly uh, putting the pressure on Chronix a little bit. There's that Bone Club. You can't get can't get too close to that because it is a precarious situation. But look at this. Chronix oh, no. buying themselves the windows they need by kind of dip, duck, dive, was it? Dodge, duck, dick, dive, and dodge to go ahead and get themselves the KO. They're bobbing and out of that goal zone on the opposing Lucario. Very well played by Chronix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're going to have a pretty big early presence coming out of Poketopia right around Dreadnought uh, to begin this. Uh, them clumping up right now could be a pretty massive threat. Don't forget we have this Mr. Mime and those wall bank potentials that can happen to an entire group, uh, and the Snorlax is feeling the aster from that one. Uh, they just melted down the Wigglytuff uh, on go inside of the board here. Poketopia looking pretty good. There's a Shuriken on top of Nalix, and that's a KO. And now the Greninja's feeling themselves a little bit, working through I'm a good guy and uh, the Cinderace there. Double KO. Is Mr. Mime really going to come into the mix here? They say yes, as all of Poketopia, or a good portion of Poketopia, is working on Dreadnought. It's leashing back, though, and that HP is ticking all the way back up, and that might give Go Win a chance to come in and take this. There we go. There's the squad working through at the peak. Pikachu doing some work alongside the Greninja, able to shut it down before Gowen has the opportunity to put the pedal to the metal and get back in there. A chance maybe in a normal situation, but not when Buffalo is on this Greninja. The amount of damage they're doing and just the situational awareness of to know when to dive and when to space out using those water shurikens. Not a surf Greninja, but is, oh man, is and that happening? is a dive moment coming out of Poketopia. Go win really got taken advantage of there by Sly as they came in with Buffalo and are able to mow down a couple players from Go win and uh, you know 
take this take this Rotom as well as another KO reigns in onto uh, onto the Lucario there, and that Rotom is going to be able to crash in, not close out, and they're going to be able to get a big overdunk and bang, there it is, plus forty. That's a huge overdunk, thirty three points. Yeah, yeah, definitely the bot lane early game was going and go wins favor, but right now all the momentum has shifted over to Poketopia, uh, doing a really incredible job winning these team fights. These farm contests and 1v1 engagements may not always be going in their favor, as you can see right there, the Wigglytuff netting that auto know, uh, but that doesn't really matter when they're winning the most important engagements of the game, which is going to be these team fights. Uh, I'm a good guy and OD gum working pretty well together there. Uh, they just need to get that isolation uh, in conjunction with the sleep and then the confusion blast uh, to kind of close the doors on it. But they're moving together. They're trying here. Leaf Tornado comes in from Nalix uh, as they're trying to provide that well-needed support from their bottom laners. OD gum gets caught a little bit. Kaido feeling themselves wants to get a KO. But here comes Buffalo uh, able to put some pressure on and keep going stuck in their own goal zone as I'm a good guy. It's like, hey, where are you guys? Uh, there ain't there chief <laughs> you're no. getting stuck and pinned back by buffalo and here comes chronix to help bring uh bring a little bit of parody here to the table in the bottom lane yeah the gang's all here definitely but i'm a good guy uh was just not gonna be there for very long not in that case wow a lot of unite moves used on either side but right now go uh go in getting a big advantage and until the um, Greninja showed up. <laughs> yeah, big advantage until they were all folded like laundry, my friend. And that Dreadnought <laughs> goes straight to Poketopia and go win. Didn't feel much of a W on that one as I'm a good guy. Gets a Unite move going to just try and uh, stave a little bit of this uh, pressure off here. Um, and Saitama, the, the Snorlax with the block. And I'm a good guy, finally. Not not quite down yet and willing to keep pushing in now that they've got a little <laughs> bit of support. Eldegosh rolling out Nalik saying, like, uh, we, we can't be chasing this, Chief. We got we to gotta, we gotta regroup. OD Gum getting caught a little bit. Lucario Zera T there for a bit of support. But nobody's starting Rotom just yet because... <laughs> they're trying to go in on Chronix. Heavy slam and a Unite move back across. Chronix is on the edge and Slide, that's who they want and finally have to bail out before they get KO'd. Slide jumps into Rotom. Here we go. Pikachu takes down Chronix and now Lau is shooting them down from a distance as all of Poketopi is pushing Go in back down the lane. Nalix able to make it back to the goal zone. Unscathed Zera T gets caught and they get taken out by Buffalo. as now Buffalo's taking the Bs and that Rotom's head down the lane. Really impressive plays by Saitama. These heavy slams are making it so that Go Win just can't push in and choose their own positioning. Every single time they try to stack up, they know they're giving up and it's just a one a one ability 3cc moment. Every single time they do, Saitama sees the blood in the water and leaps for it. And here we go again, gets two Pokemon CC'd and that's going to be a gigantic advantage for Poketopia to push. Kaido loves to be seeing that uh, that meticulous heavy slamming by Saitama because that gets them the free pedal dance giga drain uh, health re, uh, regen there and really kicks them off and puts them on the right foot to be able to take some KOs. OD gum just keeps seeming to be off from the team and, and getting postured out a little bit by whatever Pokemon's babysitting the top lane. Zerati and Nalix uh, joining up here in the bottom lane as Buffalo Lau and company are just babysitting the Zapdos. Yeah, definitely. Um, the Wigglets up there going for that sing into score shield score tech. Uh, as soon as you just proc the sing, it'll go off while you were scoring, um, but not getting anything. And this team fight oh, is man. already going Three off. Unite moves in a row. All the buddy berries are flashed up and we're watching these life bars melt as Kaido needs to use that Giga Train to keep themselves up and they're getting chased by OD Gum. Maybe a little tired of getting that pressure on. Sly's coming through. They get the first KO on Mr. Mime as the pressure's still on and Poketopia gets pushed back, or excuse me, uh, Poketopia was pushed pushing back through the lane, but they take a triple here. Three players down for go in, make it four oh, off the man. heavy slam. And that's a double KO. Excuse me. Credit to the Pikachu getting that there. And I'm shocked that Poketopia hasn't started Zapdos, maybe feeling that they definitely don't want it, don't need it, no interest, but go in back gapping themselves into the top. Kaido responds efficiently, putting them back in the lead up by almost 195 points here. And now go in needs to be thinking this is a Zapdos situation. We need to start taking this thing, but they're losing their HP down quickly as I'm a good guy gets postured out. Now they're focusing on OD gum. OD gum gets worked through. Here comes Zara to pick up the support and Sly on their retreat. 
Slide making it out of there is absolutely huge. Having Lucaria still available, it is giving Gowen no chances to, to push anything for free. Um, the, that Pokemon going back up, and he goes to the top tier goal zone to defend. Really smart play. Mr. Mom getting a dunk here on the bottom could bring things more in an even alignment. 42 points is not going to be enough to take the lead, but it certainly closes the gap. Pikachu popping off here, getting the double KO. Greninja takes the, the Zapdos in due time. An OD gum unite move by Mr. Good Guy comes through, but there is not enough time on the clock for either team, uh, or excuse me, for Go Win to bring parity to the scoreboard here as Poketopia does get a Hundo banger off the back of that Pikachu that picked up that double and then another KO there in the Zap Pit to seal it up for the squad. Yeah, really, really nice work from Poketopia. I was mentioning it before, but just really excellent team fight mechanics. <laughs> on that Zapdos fight, the play call coming out of Go Win must have absolutely been Go Mid, uh, because we saw that entire team crash through past the Zap Pit and into that enemy thoroughfare, that small lane that connects the jungle to that center, central area. Uh, they pushed all the way through. Poketopia did a really nice job of just allowing them in, backing off, and then making sure that once they were in range, use all their abilities to net themselves two, three KOs, and that allowed them to get the back dunks on that first tier one tower, or tier one goal zone at the bottom, uh, just giving them a really nice play and making it so the score was all in their favor.